Christmas over, it's back to school and longer school days for some students across Central Texas. Leander ISD has extended school hours and some high schoolers now go to school five minutes earlier while elementary students are in school five minutes longer. KXN Sophia Beausoleil explains why there's the change. To stare at a clock long enough and a minute can feel like an eternity, let alone five minutes. Precious seconds school districts aren't wasting any time with. It'll help out on the time, you know, with that five minutes extra that they have, it'll help out. Steve Flores picks up his daughter every day at Pleasant Hill Elementary in Leand ISD. On Monday, he had to wait five extra minutes. That's because the school day is now longer for elementary students and some high schoolers. You know, it helps them read a little bit more longer and, and give them more time to, to, to do whatever uh, uh, subject they're in, in class. School districts now keep track of the school year by minutes instead of days. The new law requires at least 75,600 minutes of classroom instruction compared to the old law, which required at least 180 days. The conversion is supposed to allow more time for learning. It's also supposed to help districts avoid makeup days. We wanted to make sure that we were being extra conservative, um, assuming that we would have numerous delays, and we wanted to make sure that we didn't have to add on days if need be at the end of the calendar. So Leander ISD has tacked on an extra five minutes to have have extra time in the bank for an icy day. Time parents and students don't seem to mind. My daughter, in fact, this morning I told her about that and she was actually excited because her last class of the day is reading and she really enjoys it. We get five extra minutes of reading, which I like to read, so I'm excited about that. A statement which is safe to say all parents want to hear. Reporting from Leander ISD, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Middle schools in Leander ISD and Cedar Park High School are not impacted because those schools already meet the state requirements. School districts across Central Texas are looking at what changes need to be made to adjust to this new law. Starting tomorrow, Eanes ISD will add 10 minutes to the school day for all elementary schools. Middle and high schools will have the same length of day, but their start and end times will move five minutes later to help with bus routes. Hayes CISD will also add 10 minutes to the school day for all elementary schools, but middle and high school students' schedules will not change. Georgetown ISD will only make changes to one campus. That's Eastview High School. It'll add eight minutes to the school day. And Austin ISD, Round Rock ISD, Lake Travis ISD, Del Valley ISD, and San Marcos CISD will not make any changes this school year, but some may decide to make some changes next school year.